chapter 1.2 is on the field axioms. And first off, you have to know what an axiom is. An axiom is a property that is accepted without proof. So these properties you're allowed to use, and you don't need to prove them so that you can use them. So there are 11 field axioms that apply to addition and multiplication. The first one is called closure. Closure states that the domain of real numbers is closed under addition and multiplication. And so what that means is that as long as x and y are real, that x plus y will equal a real number and x times y will equal a real number. So it's saying that you can't add a real number to a real number and get an imaginary number. And you can't multiply two as well to get an imaginary number. The next property is commutativity. And commutativity states that the order by which the numbers are combined does not matter. So that states that x plus y will equal y plus x, so that the order which you add them does not multiply. And for the same for multiplication, that x times y equals y times x. Next property is associativity. Associativity states that the grouping of the numbers does not matter. So this matters when there are three or more elements in your equation. So if you have x plus y plus z, that where the parentheses are does not matter. So that, will, that would equal x plus y plus z. And similar for multiplication, that x times y times z equals x times y times z. And that where the parentheses are does not affect the outcome of the equation. The next field axiom is distributivity which states that multiplication distributes over addition. So that says that if you have x and then times y plus z, it equals xy plus xz. So the x distributes over the addition inside of the parentheses. The next field axiom is the identity elements. And the identity elements, there's one for addition and one for multiplication. For addition, the identity element is 0. And that states that if you add that to any number, you'll get the same number. For multiplication, the identity element is 1. So if you multiply that by any number, say x, you'll get the same number, namely x. The final pair of field axioms is, are the inverses. For inverses, the additive inverse is negative x. And that says that if you add that to the same number, so x plus negative x, you will get 0, which also happens to be the identity element for addition. The multiplication, the multiplicative inverse is 1 over x. That states that if you multiply that by the same number, so x times 1 over x, you will get 1, which also happens to be the multiplicative identity element.